Leslie and I have been together five years. We have an amazing relationship, and it's very physical. I mean, he still pushes all my buttons, and, um, you know, people say, oh, but he's so much older than you, and you know what? I'm the one having to push him away. <laughs> yeah, we both have so much in common. We both love soup. As the pandemic rages on, the sky burns, systematic racism continues, and I'm rocking a man bun, the apocalypse seems like it's only hours away. If there is one saving grace amongst all this chaos, it's great movies, especially the funny ones. This week, Downstream's Gone to the Dogs as we cover one of the funniest mockumentaries ever made, Best in Show. We follow five different families on their trek to Philadelphia for the Mayflower Kennel Dog Club Show, the Super Bowl of dog shows. As we meet each handler, we see their natural good nature as well as their thinly veiled insanity, as each competitor feels as if they're moments away from a nervous breakdown. You want your busy bee, you get your busy bee. You get the busy bee, I need to trim her whiskers. It's in the crate! It's in the crate! Why didn't you have it out to begin with? Where is the crate? It's not in here. It's not in here. It should be in the crate. It's not in the crate. I just told you that. God hell, it's in. She doesn't get a door. She's gonna flip out. But we're in good hands, as Best in Show is directed, starring, and written by Christopher Guest, the man who brought us Spinal Tap, A Mighty Win, and Waiting for Guffman. It's also filled with top-tier comedic talent and regular guest collaborators, including Eugene Levy, Parker Posey, Jennifer Coolidge, and Michael McKean. Oh, these have to come because... Counting those, I... I have you all, you've already packed six kimonos. We're That's, in, we're all right, in, so here's seven. We're in Philadelphia for 48 hours. So that's seven, so I need, actually, I need I mean, one how many more. tea services eight. can you do? Why are you doing this? I mean, I, I think we're overpacking, don't you? Well, no. Watching how Drop Dead seriously each competitor takes the competition is hilarious, but also mind-boggling. Gas's satire plays deftly and works well because of the accuracy it's based in. Characters are hyperbolized, but played with a deep sincerity, so no matter how worked up, wacky, or petty these characters are, we end up caring about them. Oh, she used to say, Harlan Pepper, if you don't stop naming nuts, and the joke was, of course, that we lived in Pine Nut, and I think that's what put it in my head at that, at that point. So I'd go to sleep. She'd hear me in the other room, and she would just start yelling. I'd say, peanut, hazelnut, cashew nut, macadamia nut. Guess's love for the characters extends well beyond the handlers, as even the minor roles feel lived in, feel like people we know. My favorite being Fred Willard, a special guest commentator, Buck Laughlin. He has maybe four minutes of combined screen time, but has the most memorable, absurd, incredible lines. You wrote a book, didn't you? I did, I did. Uh, Follow the Lead, uh -huh. um, a book about uh, obedience, basic obedience training for dogs. As you know, I have a franchise of uh, schools around the country. I didn't know that. Yes. Hey, so this is right down your alley. I went Absolutely. to one of those uh, obedience places once. It was all going well till they spilled hot candle wax on my private parts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, I'm serious. I know what you're talking about. Released in the year 2000, Best in Show is a rare comedic gem that's aging like a fine wine. There's no nastiness, no over-the-top gags, just a collection of small moments. Small, hilarious, crazy moments with jokes inside of jokes that beg for repeat viewings, lovable, dopey characters, and all the cute dang dogs you could wag a bone at. Best in Show is streaming on Hulu until September 30th. You'd be a doggone fool to miss it. Mm -hmm. 